for third reading next sitting day. Call on Government Order of the Day number three. Government Notice of Motion number three. Uh, the Honourable Craig Foss. Mr Speaker, I move that pursuant to section 78B of the Dog Control Act 1996, this House approve the Dog Control Piero de Presa Canario Order 2010 made under section 78A of that Act. Mr Speaker, this motion stood referred to the Local Government and Environment Committee. In its report presented on 25 November 2010, the committee recommended that the motion be approved. The Dog Control Piero de Presa Canario Order 2010 will add the Piero de Presa Canario breed of dog to the list of dogs banned from importation into New Zealand in Schedule 4 of the Dog Control Act 1996. Adding to the Piero de Presa Canario, excuse me, Mr. Speaker, adding the Piero de Presa Canario to Schedule 4 is a precautionary public safety measure to protect New Zealanders and prevent this potentially aggressive breed from becoming established in the New Zealand dog population. The Piero de Presa Canario is a large, heavy dog with powerful jaws and a documented tendency to exhibit aggressive behaviour. The, pr the breed originates from the Canary Islands, where it has been used for organised dog fights. The tendency of the Piero de Presa Canario to exhibit aggressive behaviour or attack and the size and strength of the breed makes it of particular concern because of the seriousness of injuries it could inflict. There have been two known fatal attacks in the United States involving the breed since 2001. The breed is not known to be currently present in New Zealand and is prohibited from importation into Australia. The Brazilian Fila, Doggo Argentino and the Japanese Tossa breeds and the American Put Bull Terrier type are already listed in Schedule 4 of the Act as prohibited from importation. Dogs of the breeds or types listed that are already present in New Zealand must be classified as menacing by local authorities and must be muzzled when at large and neutered. This, this measure does not affect the proposed review of public safety around dogs, Mr Barker. The review will look at the underlying principles of public safety around dogs and the effectiveness of the existing regulatory regime. We will seek a better understanding of how to improve public safety around dogs while ensuring that responsible dog owners are not disadvantaged. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The uh, question is that the motion be agreed to. Speaker. Um, these are five-minute calls, so there will be a, a one-minute warning bell. Okay. Phil Twyford. Oh, yes. Right. Thank you, Mr. 